Hello, it's Julian Mella. I'm going to go through a bunker shot today. Um, I'm going to guess if you're watching this video, you may not like them. Um, are, are bunker shots difficult? Um, in, and is there a right, is a right and wrong technique? Well, in my opinion, they're very easy, um, and with the right technique, they'll get even easier. Um, the nice thing about bunkers is it's the only shot in golf we're not trying to hit the golf ball. We're actually trying to hit slightly behind the golf ball. It, the distance behind it can vary. I'm just going to play a shot first and then I'm going to explain a little bit about what I'm doing. Came out really nicely. Okay. Very commonly, the reason people start struggling in bunkers is because of the way that they set up and generally the way that they take the club back in the backswing. Very normal to see people aiming way left, way left. Now, what this is going to do is encourage you to hit across the golf ball and it's, it's very easy to thin the golf shot or to hit it kind of into the bank. Now the more we um, aim left, if we're, if we're right-handed, the tendency is, is to swing flatter. Now if we swing flat in a bunker, on the way back down now, it's gonna come in far too shallow, might catch the sand slightly before the ball, by the time it gets to the ball, it's going to start to hit on top of the golf ball. The way I like to play bunker shots is possibly a little bit different to how you would have played them. If this is my target line, my feet are roughly parallel with that, then what I'm going to do is turn my left toe out slightly. This can give an appearance of the stance being slightly open. When I'm setting up to the golf ball, I'm going to have the ball slightly forward of centre, but I'm actually going to try and catch the sand roughly in centre. Look at the way that my shaft is set at address. At no point am I going to angle the shaft forward. This is going to make it far more difficult. So I'm going to keep the golf club very level. I'm going to dig my feet in because this is going to help lower the club underneath the golf ball. My toe is pointed out slightly, the club is set very level and when I take my back swing I'm actually going to use my wrist to make the club go up. What goes up must come down so you're going to find it far easier to hit underneath the golf ball if the club is travelling up than down. Just play that again. So generally a, a poor bunker player, somebody who really struggles, will stand too far open, swing too flat. There you go, it's just hit the bank and come back into the sand. We're exactly what we don't want to do. So a lot straighter, very, very relaxed in the grip, let the club work up. Watch the, um, the speed as well when I'm actually hitting the shot. This is about a 20 yard bunker shot that I'm trying to play here. Now, if I was playing a shorter shot, I would still have a full swing, working the club upright, still have a full swing, but now it's a little bit softer and that's just popped out about 10 yards, something like that one. Um, so, deadly don't, don't swing flat. Whatever you do in a bunk, you're really gonna struggle getting out. Use the wrists, keep them supple, work the club upright, down, and all the way through. Hope this uh, short video helps you out of bunkers. Any problems, as always, give me a call. Um, or email me. Full details are on my website, juliemellagolfschool.co.uk.
thanks for watching bye